Welcome back to ModiMate's click by click tutorial series. In this video, we're going to learn to craft the finish assemblies that will go in the bathroom whose surface graphs you designed last video. Let's take a look at the guest house. Let's hide the roof to the bathroom in question by selecting the roof and typing HI. Now let's get crafting. Click on the Attachment Tools menu where you're shown the tools for finishes, trim, cabinets, and fixtures, furniture, and equipment. All right, now let's craft some finishes for this bathroom. Click on the Attachment Tools menu then the finish tool, or just type FI. Scroll down this list to find the porcelain tiles and click edit on that assembly. Let's make a backsplash that is similar but different from this. Click on the patterned tile layer, click on the swap icon for Flemish bond, and let's choose the pattern of cascading fourths. We can see the tiles are now cascading at one quarter per row. Let's also change the size of these tiles from four by four to eight inches long, type eight and press enter and two inches wide, two inches enter. And as you type, you can see the pattern getting more and more extreme. Now this has become a unique tile preset from the out of the box porcelain tile that was four x four. So we will call it guest house backsplash tile. And now add this new preset into our universe. Now this layer of also is a different preset than the out of the box layer that had a Flemish bond with four x four tiles. We'll call this one guest house backsplash tiles. As a tip, it's always best to name your assemblies with the logical location they live in your project, not some descriptive string of terms about the adjectives, because you may change those, but the fact that this is a guesthouse backsplash tile set isn't going to change. Press enter and add this preset to your universe. Let's make the grout thinner. Half an inch is too much grout. Let's make it an eighth inch. And while we're at it, the color is not quite right. Let's change the color to something darker. Yeah, this is a good strong dark color, and we'll use it as well for the grout gaps in the tiles themselves. So I'm copying the color hex value with control C. And now let's rename this layer backsplash grout and add it to our universe. Now in the front layer, the tiles, we'll go over to the gap and we will apply the same color and press enter. We've now darkened the gap, which you can see here with the aggressive grout lines. And the gap is a quarter inch. Let's make it an eighth of an inch. And we'll call this backsplash grout. Enter. Let's add this preset to our universe of gaps. So we've added a new tile, we've added a new gap, we've added a new tile layer, we've added a new backsplash layer into our preset universe. As we create a new gap, this layer has unsaved changes. Let's save this layer to update its definition. Good thing we named it guesthouse backsplash tiles, no need to rename it when we change the attributes of the children. However, I think these tiles being a quarter inch thick is a little bit much. Let's make it an eighth of an inch thick. And update. And lastly, with all these changes made, we will name this porcelain tile layer, guest house backsplash finish, enter, and add new. Okay, I'm excited to use this tile finish in the backsplash areas of that bathroom. You can find this new assembly at the bottom of your assemblies list. Next, let's make a paint that will go in that bathroom alongside the tiles. Let's start from the gray paint, click edit, Click on the paint layer, click on its color, and let's make a nice periwinkle color. Some kind of a blue like, like this, perhaps. Nice faded blue. It's a good periwinkle color. Press enter, click away. We will call this paint layer guest house bathroom paint. And we'll add this layer preset to our universe. Now this assembly has only one layer, so we will also call this guest house bathroom paint finish. Press enter. Add new, and we will find our new paint at the bottom of the list again. Lastly, let's craft a floor for this room. I'm thinking 12 inch stone tiles. Let's start again from the porcelain tile assembly. Click edit, as you can see, this is the same out of the box assembly from which we started before. Click on the tile layer, swap the pattern to stack bond. Nice, simple stack bond. Click on the tile. Let's swap this tile to a different category. As you can see here, the category list for these tiles is shown here, and instead of porcelain, we want to browse other tiles. Let's look at the tile list and click on stone, and choose this square looking stone tile here. Indeed it is calicata marble. It is 4 inches by 4 inches. Let's make it 12 inches by 12 inches. Half an inch thick seems reasonable. Let's make it 3 eighths. 3 eighths of an inch, enter. And now we'll give it a, a name for the new preset. Guest house bathroom floor tile, enter. Let's add this tile preset to our universe. 
Now let's name this layer guest house, bathroom, floor, tiles, plural. Add it to our universe. The mortar seems a little too thick still, so let's make this a quarter inch thick and we'll name it stone tile mortar and press enter and add it to our universe. Lastly, we will name this finish guest house, bathroom, floor, finish and press enter, add it to our universe. We now see all three of our finishes have been added to the bottom of the assemblies list. All right, hopefully this was a good reinforcement for you of what it means to craft assemblies in ModiMate. And in our next video, we will move on to applying these finishes into the bathroom of this guest house.